This is Maidenhead. Let's start off with a nice eco-list in Travelodge. Going up. It's a hydraulic. Going between floor three. It's a hydraulic and it goes to the third floor. Doors opening. And now to the Nicholson Centre car park. To get there, I went up the stairs. But wait, above the stairs I used is a lift motor room. Even though there's no lift next to these stairs, I take a look back inside it and discover that there is a hatch and a board nailed to a wall with nothing behind it. There was a lift here, but it's been removed. My theory is that when the Odeon opened, the Nicholson Centre closed the lift to encourage people who wanted to go to the Odeon to go through the centre and past all their adverts. But here there are some lifts. Not very good. Come on, open! Lift going down. Why do generics always have to do that? Doors closing. Ground floor. Door. And now to the other lifts. Going down. Keep mind the door. Wow. Maidenhead is full of generics. Going the down. It's limited. It's like that. Ground floor. Doors open. And now into H&M, which has an eco-disc. I've never heard an eco-disc make that sound before. Hybrid eco disc mixed with a, um, um, like some non eco disc mixed with some eco disc technology added. In H&M, there is an Oakland. Mind that the looks thing. like a COP. I knew this was an Oakland before I even got in it because it's not very good. And now into Tesco's. It has an Otis Goods lift, and this lift button is something I've never seen before. Something I've never seen. The lift in Wilkinson's is old generic with this rather basic logic. It's not actually even a proper lift, it's more of a dumb way to it. It's got really basic logic. 
rather spooky. There's star phone. Now into Marks and Spencer. I just heard a futuristic thistle crap. This is a This is a futuristic thistle crap. In disguise. Yeah, this is a futuristic thistle crap in disguise. A lot better than them and as usual there. First floor. Yeah, futuristic dressing crap. And now into boots. The uh, Dewhurst. I think this is maybe an Evans lift. But it's been modernised and if you look up there there's a keyhole covered over. I can't seem to see any other keyhole, so how are they getting to rescue people? Um Modernization has actually given it new controls, bringing the old ones, but they haven't placed the sign that does as far as lifts. And now to HSBC. Central lift services and it's person it's got a customized sign. This is a generic hydraulic, but it's actually quite an old generic hydraulic, so not as bad as the modern generic hydraulics. Indicator doesn't work properly though. Now to some eco disc in Sainsbury's. Now it's some more eco this next door. This make a funny noise. I hope it's not broken. These have stuff at this useless floor. I can't hear the eco discs on the top floor, so these lifts must be broken. And here is the piazza in front of Waitrose, I mean Sainsbury. Now to the big eco disc going down from Sainsbury's. Now let's go for Bridge Link, which I would estimate is on the third floor. The Magnets Leisure Centre. Now in a near 
by laser combat sensor. You just do to get to the other side of this. Don't just use the lift. And the lift is, if you look down there, and it says Evans. This is an Evans hydraulic lift. Not very fast though. Evans looks so rare. Maidenhead Library has a generic, but it's quite an interesting generic. This subway is a bit narrow.